You ain't buying no toast for the ghost. You can't post, nigga. Pull up, we ain't never lacking. Never lacking. Ghost town right now. I'm 30th for MLK. You feel me on that K block? Go south. We ain't got much of me. You just be something. Right one. Uh, shit, we out in West Oakland, fuck around in Ghost Town with uh, JB Mac and them. We signed to the streets one more time. Nope. Ghost Town, JB Mac, signed to the streets, the real MPV TV. You know what it is, nigga. We out here, nigga. Oh, mama. Fuck y'all shit, hella yeah. shit. Let them know where y'all at, who we fucking right now. Look, man, this JB Mac, man. This my nigga Josh Savvy, you feel me? We in West Oakland right now. We in Ghost Town right now. My nigga right here, he from Cypress Village, Cypress though. Village, you you right feel now. me, home of Jay Stalin. But right now, we in my hood, Ghost Town. It's the 30th apartments. I didn't spend many nights, long nights, trapping out this motherfucker, man. I got many memories. I was just telling brother, like, this used to be the trap house right here. You feel me? Niggas used to sit here oh, all I night. Bless the knocks. But yeah, man, it, 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 it get ugly over here for sure. This is West Oakland. Niggas know how, how I get in West Oakland, you feel me? Shit, for the viewers, niggas that don't know, let them know what's going on out here. You feel me? We, uh, we really pushing uh, unity. In the hood, you know what I'm saying? So that's why we call it our block. It's not your block, it's our block. And we want all hoods all around the world to think like that, you feel me? So we could really come together as one and really take over. But back to um, back to what we what we were talking about though, you feel me? Over here, man, so everything happens, man. Everything, anything that happens in the hood, in the ghetto, right here, it's the epitome of it. It's drugs, violence, gangs. It, it still get ugly around this motherfucker, man. Even with all the white people moving in and shit, they building new shit around this motherfucker. It still get ugly, man. Shit. Sure. Got a lot of dead niggas, man. A lot of dead niggas, man. That done died right here on this soil, you feel me? When, how old were you when you lost your first friend? When I lost my first friend, man, I was probably about, about 12, 13, for real, for real, you feel me? Like, I got, I got too many to think about, for real, for real, but one of, one of the first niggas I lost, man, was my nigga Baby James. He from his hood, you feel me? From Cypress Village. Long live Baby James. Yeah, RP BJ, man. That was one of the first niggas I lost, you feel Long me? Long live Gunna. Long you know what I'm saying? Shad. Gunna, you know what I'm saying? We didn't, man, my cousin Critty Bo. You feel me? I got my cousin tatted on me right here. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Critty Bo. At what age did you start seeing shit kick up and shit? Aw, oh, man, I say about uh, 2004. That's when I jumped off the porch. Cause you know, I'm, I'm 29, you feel me? I'm about to be 30 this year, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but brother older than me, I'm, 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 you I'm 22, me? you feel me? I turned 23 this month. Yeah, I say about 2004, 2005. When we start funking, you feel me? We start funking with niggas down the way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna speak on their names or whatever, but niggas, niggas know who they is. You feel me? Them niggas down the way. You know what I'm saying? We got into it with them niggas. 2004, 2005, been turned up, man. Shootouts every day. You feel me? Niggas dying and shit. And, and what's crazy is the same niggas we funking with, you feel me? We used to be clicked up with them niggas. You know what I'm saying? It used to be a real. All of us related, bro. West Oakland small, so everybody damn near related. Everybody went to small. school with each other. Everybody know each other. So niggas, now, now the niggas that we funkin' with, we beefing with, is niggas that we been new, niggas that we growing up, grew up with, niggas that we related to. So that shit get real, it get real touchy. That's a real touchy situation, you feel me? Cause it, it, it intertwines with the niggas family and really, shit. Yeah, family. Niggas, niggas be funkin' family. with cousins and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, oh, I say about 2004, 2005, that's Something when it really started getting greasy, you feel me? Oh, this that old school shit right here, bro. This, whoo! I remember when the little thing, the tree used to be right here. I ain't gonna lie, none of these gates was right here. None of these houses was right here. None of this shit was right here. I ain't gonna lie to you. This, I ain't gonna lie, this was the million dollar spot right here. You used to hide the bundles up in here. Me, was big me. dice games right here. Hella shit, I swear to you, I ain't gonna lie, million dollar dice games right here on my mama. Especially around this in this motherfucker, you feel me? If you wasn't if you wasn't sliding, my, my nigga baby skin died, rest in peace, baby skin, you feel me? When when that nigga died, if you wasn't sliding, bro, if you wasn't putting in work for the hood, bro, you couldn't even be out here, bro. RP Chopper Bop. Chopper Bop used to tell me, nigga, if you, you ain't, ain't buying no toast, toast for the ghost, you, you can't, can't post, post, nigga, period. Oh, you, ain't real, no you, you ain't busting no toast, toast for the ghost, ghost you, you can't, can't post, post, man, period. Oh, God. So everybody that, that have been here and, and stood on these blocks, nigga, and really put in work on these blocks for sure, then did what they had to do for this motherfucker, for real, for real. It's like to ask people and shit, do you know how to beef originated? Uh... Look, I'm a, I'm a, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to speak on too much. But I'm gonna tell you like, I'm gonna tell you like this though. You feel me? We used to be clicked up with the niggas that we funkin' with. You know what I'm saying? Or that my hood funkin' with, neighborhood funkin' with. You feel me? Like, I, like I said, we damn near related to the niggas. You feel me? But 
Look, man, some some main niggas from my section and some main niggas from them sec from they section got into it. You know what I'm saying? And then it's bitches involved, baby mamas involved. You know how that shit go. You feel me? Niggas get in their feelings, words be exchanged, and then shots is fired. Once shots is fired, and a, a main nigga from this side and a main nigga from this side say it's up. Once it's up, it's up, and it's stuck, nigga. And it's been like that for years. And then once a motherfucker die. Ain't no taking it back, you know what I'm saying? Once a motherfucker die from a funk, bro, that's when the funk really gets serious. You ain't really funking, nigga. If ain't nobody got yeah. shot or niggas ain't dead, nigga, period. Nigga, when somebody die, that's when you don't want to let this shit go. That's why niggas always telling motherfuckers that's on the outside that ain't in the funk and shit be, oh, y'all gang banging, just let that shit go, woo, woo, woo. Like, check this out, bro. Niggas is dead over this shit, bro. And I refuse to let certain shit go, bro. Period, because I was out here when this shit popped off, you feel me? And I, I know, nigga. Especially so, when niggas a lot of shit I ain't letting go. dead homies, you feel me? That's, you feel that's me? Then I, I take that personal. Niggas That's, can't be dissing the dead. I take that personal, bro. Niggas dropping these songs, dissing these dead niggas that they don't even know. Nigga, nigga speaking on my little nigga Spado, nigga. Y'all don't even know Spado. Nigga, keep Spado out your mouth, nigga. Period, mm -hmm. nigga. Because Spado really used to put in work right here in these apartments, nigga. And keep, Real talk. And keep Gunna out your mouth, you feel me? Because niggas was speaking on Gunna and shit. Niggas know who I'm talking about, bro. I swear to God, bro. Nigga got into his first fight right here <laughs> on my mama. Like, literally, right here in these apartments. Me and right this here. nigga almost got into a fight right here, nigga. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nigga. <laughs> what happened? Oh, 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 blood, man. It was uh, the knockhead oh. came. He had served the knock, but the knockhead came to spend with me. And I'm like, nigga, that's my knock. He like, nah, nigga, that ain't your knock. Woo, woo. So we was oh, young, okay. and we got into it selling dope, you feel me? And we arguing over who the, who the knock came to, to, to fuck with, you feel me? Hey, man, it's, this is bad. It went down. Shootouts right here, fights, dice game, all type of shit. Across the street. That gate right there wasn't right there at first, so we used to be sitting on them steps, you feel me? On the block thugging all day, nigga. This this visual right here, this for niggas from from the hood. My nigga Dejour, my nigga Peekaboo, and my nigga Trey, man. You feel me? My young niggas from the hood, man. You feel me? Um, Dejour, he died in a high speed chase. You feel me? Died with my nigga BJ, Baby James. Rest in peace, Baby James. You feel me? This Dejour right here, and this Baby James right here. Rest in peace, man. They died together. You feel me? And this Trey and Peekaboo right here. TNP, everybody know about Trey and Peekaboo, the young niggas. They died together too, man. You feel me? And we always keep their name lit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Give us a memory you had with them. Ah, man, these two little niggas, I watched these two little niggas grow up, man, for real. And Peekaboo used to come to me asking for dollars and shit. You feel me? Hell shit, man. I was even down the street the day they got killed. You feel me? And that shit really hurt me, man. You feel me? But. We keep their name lit, man. We forever sliding for my niggas, man. For real. These niggas, they died. They died trying to get some money. You feel me? Wasn't no violent way. Them niggas was about their bag. You feel me? Niggas chasing them bands. You feel me? So them niggas gonna shine forever. Gun went off when he was running from 5-0. So 5-0 started shooting. And then they were saying, oh, it was a shoot, a police involved shooting and shit. And he got shot. But kind of find out it was just period blood from the bitch he was fucking the night before. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hella funny. Hey, Moon. I am. I am Sanchez. Where you Simmons. from, Moon, man? Hey, where you from, Moon? I'm from, I'm from California. I'm from Ghost Town. <laughs> we ain't talking about the mean shit just be talking about. We talking about Ghost Town. I'm Dio. I'm looking for my third home. I'm not looking for no romance. I'm looking for finance. Apple Plum, Peach Plum. I ain't going to talk to the basic plum. I'm gonna fuck a pastor. I'm gonna fuck a slow. When I'm in a pussy, <laughs> I want to know. Ow! Nah, why you buttoning up like this, bro? Because the saw, the shit that pull my shit in. The saw? Yeah, if I fucking do some shit and then grab it, oh. Oh. and I'll be sucked in that motherfucker. Uh, okay. Fuck that. I got shot right here on this same block, you feel me? You know? Right down the street, right on the corner, you feel me? Been shot at around this motherfucker. You right here, it's bullet holes right here. We didn't had to, we didn't had to bounce out on five old nigga. Bullet holes in this motherfucker. All in these in backyards this and shit. You feel me? It's a, it's a hole right there. It's a hole right here. Hole right here. Hole up there. A lot of work around this motherfucker and bench, and a lot of shit around this bitch too. For sure, for sure. Yeah, but if a nigga pull up, we ain't never lacking. Never lacking. <laughs> oh my mama. One time, this nigga had bounced on their ass, right? <laughs> This nigga bounced on their ass, hit the gate, took his hoodie off, came in the house, 
They came and knocked on the door. This nigga answered. Was how like, oh, no, how you doing? Oh, yeah, I didn't hear anything. Man, whoa, whoa. Look, was like, all right, well, you have a nice time and left, yeah. nigga. After he was the one that just bounced on him. I was like, this how nigga. How you doing, man? <laughs> My mama, how you doing, sir? You all right? It's all good. They, they came and hit. I run to the backyard. I throw my hoodie off. I come back out, nigga, like I'm just waking up, nigga. Like, what is all this ruckus around this motherfucker? Like, you know, I'm about to walk to the store. Walk my ass to the store. Oh, so no, it was you. raining like this. Oh, like this, bro. Hella hard, bro. We walking. We was right there by the apartment that we was just at earlier. You feel me? 5-0 bounce out. And then they point directly at me. You right there. I got a strap on me. You feel me? So I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, nigga. I throw the bike down and I start running, nigga. They start chasing me. A good Samaritan tried to hit me, nigga. I had to jump. I had to do like a real like James, James Bond born nigga to fucking jump over the fucking uh, car like this. You feel me? And then they chase me. 5-0 fall, nigga, because it's raining. That nigga slipped and fell. Nigga, I'm jumping over gates. I ain't even touching the gate. I'm jumping straight over, falling face first and everything. Bye. Bye. I'm getting up out of here though, nigga. I'm throwing the strap over the gate every time I run, nigga. Oh, mamas, nigga, that shit was bud. We didn't, we didn't did, did our duggy on they ass. Hey, nigga, we, you feel me? We players, nigga. We don't, you know what I'm saying? But you never know what a nigga got going on in his life, you feel me? So, you know, but that shit shocked me the most though. See, niggas I went to school with and grew up with on, on hardcore drugs that we used to sell, nigga. Now them oh, niggas mama. doing it. God, niggas used to always be sitting back talking about, oh, I never, I never do this, I never be that. Woo -woo. Also, the times have changed. Also, the times have changed because the same niggas that used to be motherfucking scared and getting punked and bullied and shit back in the day, Killing them people. the niggas that's running shit now, nigga. Them the niggas that's getting respect in the hood and all that shit, nigga. And snitches and and niggas that used to get slapped around and shit. You feel me? And that I think that's where the game is watered down to me now, bro. That's why I don't even try to. Be too That's much a part party. of this shit, bro. See, in the hood, we used to have big block parties. Ghost Town, famous for our block parties and our dice games, nigga. Like niggas know, nigga, it used to be lit, bro. You feel me? Summertime, it's gonna it's gonna be cracking out here again in the summer. It just ain't the same how you how it used to be though. You feel me? Niggas used to be outside every day. Everybody pulling their whips out and shit. Now it, it's slide like, shows and shit. Yeah, now it ain't it ain't like that no more, bro. What side of Oakland you from? It ain't even it's about, about who what you hood you from, nigga. It's about who you affiliate with, what gang you with. You know, it's only it's two, threes, and fours right now. It's the FE niggas. You know what I'm saying? You either affiliated with 200, 300, and, and 400, nigga. 300 is stubby, and 400 is case, nigga. You feel me? This isn't stubby years and how that shit. Like, what is that? Like, man, look, look. It'll take a whole day yeah, to say that. I'm gonna break it down for you. <laughs> I'm gonna break it down for you. Though. It's like this. You feel me? Stubby is. ENT, you feel me? That's Ed Nardi team. You know, rest in peace to Ed and Nario, you feel me? Them was two niggas, two, two fly young niggas who was getting money. They died together and niggas made a gang after them, you feel me? Now, Case was already out, you feel me? Case, it's a new generation of the original Nutcase gang, you feel me? There was a gang that came out in like 2002, 2003, around that time. You feel me? Them niggas was wild. Them niggas was sick. They was killing niggas. You feel me? They was knocking niggas off for no reason. You feel me? To get in or lay down. On my mama. Hook up or book up. You feel me? Them niggas was tripping. The original nutcase. They all went to jail, did hella time and shit. A second generation of them came out. You feel me? And they was terrorizing shit just as just as much as the first generation was. You feel me? So, you know, and, and and that's what you see now. And now it's probably like at the fifth generation. You feel me? Shit, or sixth six generation. It's just a cycle man. repeating. You feel me? But case been out for a while. Them niggas being terrorized and shit in the streets. I ain't gonna get it get it misconstrued and fucked up. You feel me? But at the end of the day, you feel me? I'm from where I'm from and I affiliate who I affiliate with, so nigga, I don't fuck with niggas. You feel me? Period. Nigga, like, you know? Here with my brother L, man, you know what I'm saying? Our block. You see what I'm repping, you feel me? Tap in with the iBlock buddies, you feel me? We got more merch coming, you know what I'm saying? All right, and check all my music out, nigga. JB Mac, you feel me? Don't do that no more. This ain't the spot to do that, though, sis. Yeah, you tripping. This ain't the spot to do that, sis. We ain't doing that over here. Yeah, we ain't doing that over here, sis. You feel me? Yeah, you know. I ain't, I ain't into all that dissing and shit, you feel me? But at the end of the day, you niggas know what's up, nigga. Here, you feel me? Niggas know what's up with me, nigga. You feel me? So. It is what it is. We're man. promoting peace with our Africans, though. On my mamas, but know that we keep that. <laughs>